so I am going to be creating this look here. This is more of like I want to try but I don't really want to try. Kind of like maybe I should get ready but I don't really want to try. And just to kind of look put together somewhat. Um, I could probably do this look in like 10-15 minutes. So keep watching. So starting off by moisturizing our face, I'm trying this new one, it's by Clinique and it's the Turnaround Daytime Revitalizing Moisture and it says it's a golden glue. These are just one of the samples that I got, just taking like a little bit. Just to moisturize. This is an important step before applying makeup, especially foundation, just because it kind of like acts like a barrier. So not only the foundation will absorb into your skin, you're first putting on a moisturizer. That way that absorbs, in, absorbs into your skin first. And then before we move on, I'm going to put some of this uh, None of Your Beeswax Lip Balm by Lush. If I can get open. Excuse this nailless finger. It popped off. Finger pop in each other's ears holes. And then we oh it doesn't have and then just priming our face with this Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. So I've been using this like as a face primer, but it also acts like as a moisturizing cream too. I really like this one. Just taking like that. And it really does smell like coconut. Taking my Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation and I'm in the number 220 Natural Beige. I had to get a lighter one because it's winter time and I'm looking like a ghost. And just put in blobs, blah, blah, blobs. And then taking this big old kabuki brush, supposedly from Morphe, and pat that into your skin. If I wasn't talking, and bullshitting. This would probably take me like 10 minutes to do jaw fill. And then taking the Fit Me Maybelline Concealer in 20 Sand Sable. And then blending that out with the Beauty Blender. And then setting the under eye with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder with this e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And just setting the rest of your face with the Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless in 220 with a, this is a large Sigma powder brush. And then taking the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate with a small angled Sigma E35. And since this is a very soft, subtle, I guess, look, you're going to want to use whoa, whoa, a very light hand. And then just combing it out with a spoolie. And then taking the Shade Plus Light by Kat Von D. Going into this color here, it's called Shadow Play. Taking this little like angled brush by Sigma, it's an F40. And just pop this on with a light hand. Kind of like in a C. And then taking 
my favorite blush in Peaches by MAC, and just taking a large fluffy brush and dusting that on the apples. And just to give your face a little bit of a glue, I'm taking a Becca and Opal with this uh, Morphe M601 fan brush. This is actually my first time using this fan brush. <laughs> Definitely makes it easier blend these guys just taking some of that opal highlighter and then just taking this like tapered mac 239 se brush and just pop some on the inner corners just to brighten up your eyes a little bit so every time i put any eyeshadow in the inner corners of my eye random like eye boogers just want to like come out it's like, where were you before, huh? 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 You could throw on some mascara and just be done. But I'm just going to jazz it up a little bit and put on some falsies. These are literally like my favorite, favorite lashes of all time. It's the Ardell Demi Wispies. They are very much on the natural side. Like it's not crazy. You'll see when I put them on. Um, they're not super extravagant, they just kind of add a little bit more fullness and a little bit of length. Yeah, they look very natural. I usually cut the inner corner before I apply them. I already have some that I've been using. They are pretty much ready to be thrown away, but I'm still holding on. And I just started using this Duo um, Lash Glue, and it's the dark one, and it's the one that's like a little, um, brush this is like seriously so much easier than using the tube just because I feel like every time I use a tube everything just wants to squirt out and go everywhere this is definitely a lot easier because you could just um, pretty much just brush on the glue and I feel like this gets tacky faster so you don't have to wait as long for it to dry before you could put it on your eyelash line right is that what it's called? And then I'm just going to apply some of this uh, Benefit Their Real Mascara, which is one of my faves. Stick in this little ass mirror. Yep, that's not going to work. Okay, I lied. These aren't really all that natural because they're way longer than my natural, but they look like they're mine. And then just don't forget to pinch your real lashes with the fake ones really gently and then just kind of like prop them up. You can easily just leave your lips like that, but I think I'm going to put a little bit more color in my life. This is the um, Color Pop little mini one that I got in the packages. Um, <clears throat> this one is called Beeper, and I have been liking Color Pop. The only thing that I would advise if you get Color Pop is putting one layer on each lip. You only have one lip. What? What? Basically only putting one layer, like one stroke, top and bottom, because when you put more than one layer, like I said, it doesn't dry all the way. It still feels um, sticky, and then I feel like it kind of starts to come off if you put more than one layer. So I do like these, but like that's the only thing that I advise you is just to put one layer. But yeah, this is pretty much the final look to this. I guess more like you want to try, but you don't really want to try, you know what I'm saying? All right, so I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Which I really, really like. These eyebrows are looking mighty beastly right now.